And I'm out here in Etoco, Etobicoke. This is Rob Ford's home, of course, the former mayor who passed away. But four years ago, this was a center where we would often see uh, confrontations with the media with him when he was the mayor. But today the house is quiet. There's a, a fresh coat of paint on the door when we came knocking. But we're here because of the allegations and the lawsuit that was filed. And this sign that one of our viewers sent in a photo of says Rob Ford's house for sale. Now it is an interesting thing and what makes it even more interesting is the fact what happens when you call it. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Renata Ford is not available. So we called it earlier today and it says we're not a Ford, but we've been unable to confirm if that is her voice. But when we did a search for the number, it reveals it's connected to a Zed Farah at 320 Dixon Road. Now that building was at the center of the police investigation in 2013 into gang murders called Project Traveler. Now one of those charged, who later had those charges dropped, was Mohammed Farah. He is the man who allegedly tried to broker the deal for the infamous Rob Ford crack video. We've reached out to him but have not heard back from him. Now also, we spoke with Renata Ford's lawyer today, Don Jack, by phone. He told us he had nothing to do with any potential sale of the house and wouldn't confirm if the sign is legitimate. Doug Ford's campaign office also had no comment on this. And we also spoke to Renata Ford's neighbor and he says he hasn't seen her or the kids for some time. And Renata, over the last year, have you seen how she doing? I see once in a while, you know, yeah. once in a while, but I don't want it much to talk, have necessary something, you know. But no, there was some repairing house here, and last maybe months, uh, I see them cleaning everything out, you know, and uh, after I see the sign, nothing more. Of course, Renata Ford's lawsuit, just the latest of uh, allegations, scandals that have come out through the, throughout this election involving uh, the various parties. So we went and talked to some people in this area if they've decided to change their vote or not. Has that had an impact on them? Well, you know Ford. what? I'm very sorry. Every family goes through hell. And what I find really bad is that Horvath and Wynn, they came on to him today like, my God, it wasn't his fault. I will vote NDB this year. Why is that? I'm sick and tired of conservative, and I'm sick and tired of liberal. They're challenging each other. They're not focusing on us. There's obviously something going on that's a, a little different there. Um, I, th I like the way he's handled it. Um, I've encouraged him to run in this election, and I'm absolutely a backer of him. Look forward to Friday. One more note to add to this sad story. In February, Renata Ford pled guilty to two charges of drunk driving. She is back in court for sentencing on June the 20th.